As a breeder of lightweight mini and pocket Frenchies for 20 years, I've learned a few things and put that into designing my idea of the perfect incubator for newborn puppies. For example, I know if a puppy is exposed to even the slightest draft, they can drop in body temp, which causes death. They can also easily get a runny nose, which moves into life-threatening pneumonia quickly. The smaller the pup, the more susceptible to even the smallest mistake. You won't find any fans in this incubator. My incubator makes it easy to transport pups home from vets after a C-section while keeping climate controlled. A portable oxygen concentrator means you can have it on hand if pups are born a little early and need to be kept on oxygen. You won't find any cup holders for water inside the unit for humidity and risk a pup getting wet and dying of a chill. You won't find any dangling heat lamps for older and bigger pups that might be needing the incubator to bump into. Puppies tend to find their own temperature. Bullies are easily overheated and as all breeds, underheating is also deadly. The heat source is infrared heat, off center in the incubator so puppies that like it warmer can be directly under heat source and puppies that like it cooler can move away from it. Bully breeds need 90 degrees for the first few days, then 85 for the next week, then 80 degrees constant. You can keep at 80 degrees because pups have the option of staying right under the heat source after meals when they need heat the most to digest their food and then moving away from it when wanted. This incubator comes with a streamlined regulator for temperature and optional humidity control in one small easy to use controller. It comes with ultra deluxe vet bedding with non-slip backing to keep pups dry by wicking away moisture. It also has the thickest bedding available to keep barrel chested bully pups from chest flattening out and risking death by suffocation. This incubator can be turned into an intensive care unit with several available options, like the oxygen concentrator. Also available is the 3 liter humidity tank to provide many hours of use while the controller maintains the perfect humidity for your pups. Another great life-saving option is the nebulizer kit for treating pneumonia or viruses, things vets have a very poor recovery rate of treating. No more devastating losses due to easily treatable aspirated pneumonia. Bully breeds are often overeaters, often nursing until milk is coming out of nose. Accidentally inhaling that milk is so easy to do and so life-threatening. Your unit comes with easy to follow directions on how I have been successfully treating aspirated pneumonia for 20 years with zero fatalities. I have often brought pups and adults on the brink of death back to full health even when a vet tells me it's not possible to save after an x-ray confirming advanced aspirated pneumonia. Some bully breeders like myself prefer to not risk their pups lives by giving their mom a chance to accidentally lay on them. Losing a pup is so devastating emotionally and financially. This incubator can be used Used for as long as you want to, even a full week after birth. Just take pups out every two to three hours to nurse on mom, potty, and then put back. When they are stronger and bigger at a week of age, they can then be moved to mom permanently. If a C-section was required, mom can be groggy up to 24 hours after and at high risk for laying on pups accidentally. Now you don't have to take that risk. No more jumping up at every little peep, worried mom might be accidentally laying on a pup. No more panic looking for a pup, only to move mom a little bit to find a dead smothered pup. Bully breeds aren't like other breeds. Breeding our short-nosed breeds is a challenge. Other breeders can't begin to understand. Many of us do artificial inseminations and C-sections, and our equipment and supplies should be geared for our bully breeds. After all the stress of perfect timing and the expensive breeding, you can now breathe a sigh of relief to not have to worry about losing them after being born.